What did you have your heads together about? <laughs> Nothing. Speak up, Lily. Don't be shy. <laughs> oh, if, if it's personal. No, no, I mean... Lily suggested we book a concert for Miguel in Puerto Rico. Oh, like a homecoming? Yeah. Exactly. That is great. Why didn't I think of that? I don't know. Oh, I have a job, and I'm going to be late. All right, Excuse see you later. Me. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, you're cutting off my circulation. Ah, well, you never used to complain. Well, I'm not complaining. It's, I just kind of find it interesting, that's all, because uh, you were perfectly content doing girl talk with Robin until Lily joined us. That's not true. No? No. Okay, whatever. All right, I'll admit that I was a little bit jealous. <laughs> you know something? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you're the only woman in this town. Must get lonely at the top. so perfect that our first concert is going to be in Puerto Rico. I've always wanted to go there. I told you I'd make your dreams come true. And you have. And then some. And when I'm done, I'll do a lot more. Ah, uh, would you excuse me? Hi, I'm sorry. Hey. Could, I, could I just take Sonny for a couple of minutes? Sure. I'll just uh, go check my makeup or something. Hey, your makeup is a work of art, babe. Thanks. All right, so, uh, the papers in the club should be ready for signature in the morning. Listen, you should be aware. Our former boss is gonna... about to be really unhappy with me. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. So, I just figured it'd be a good idea if you realized that. Damien will be out of commission for a while anyway. Well, that doesn't affect me one way or the other. Yeah, I didn't really think it did. Look, Sonny, I'm, uh, I'm real heavy into this Bradley Ward case, you know. How much do you know about it? I've heard of it, yeah. Well, Frank Smith's name keeps turning up. What, you, you, you think he has something to do with the murder? I don't know what yet. I was sort of hoping you could nose around and maybe fill in a few blanks. When did this happen? 20 years ago. Ah, you know, that's a long time. Well, I, I, I might know some old timers who uh, might come up with some things. You know, I'll poke around and see what I, uh, I can come up with. You know, Corinthos, you're turning out to be absolutely indispensable. Come on, Spencer. You're making me blush. Number 20 with a bullet. Bullet. If I had a bullet, I'd know what to do with it. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Blam, I would shoot the weasel right in the foot. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Lo, come on, you hate guns. Yeah, I know. Look at what he's done to me. I am a basket case. Hey, 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 hey. I could set it up. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't want to shoot him anyway. Boiling him in oil would be so much more painful. Satisfying. Well, before you descend further into these erotic fantasies, why don't you let Brenda cheer you up? Partner, everything is about to change. Concert? Yes, well, it was Lily's idea. I mean, she knows how big Miguel is in Puerto Rico. Just think about it. A concert in San Juan to introduce the new CD. You're the resident genius, Cirillo. Does it make sense? Miguel Morez coming home. We're gonna need a bigger band. Right. No, we're gonna need a bigger band with uh, with a horn section and strings. Oh no, wait. Oh no no no, a synthesizer and backup singers. Chick chick singers, that would be nice. Well, are there any other kind? And they've got to dance too. Yeah, so we'll need a choreographer. Oh yeah, of course. Mm. Oh, 
That guy, that guy. Oh, wait, I, I wrote his name down somewhere. I, he just designed the lighting for Phil Collins' oh, last right. tour. He's fabulous and expensive. Well, it's no time to cut corners, right? <laughs> you, Sunny, God bless you. <laughs> okay, um, okay, now we've got to uh, check out uh, uh, arenas and find out their available dates. Uh, I know of this resort down there that's got this amphitheater. I think it seats about 15,000 people. Or maybe, maybe we want to do festival seating, you know, like in a park somewhere. Yeah, the San Juan equivalent to Central Park. Yeah. So would we release the CD in conjunction with the concert? Oh, like no, that? no, before I think, you know, to build the anticipation. I'm in touch with the program director there who said if I give him 48-hour exclusive on a new release, He'll promote the hell out of it. <laughs> Sonny, now look at who is the genius. Oh, you know, boy, sometimes know. you move so fast, it's scary. <laughs> so what did Miguel say about all of this? Oh, we didn't tell him. We wanted to run it by you first. Well, I want him involved in the whole process. I mean, I want his input on the arena, the setup, and everything. I mean, we want to do massive publicity in advance, newspapers, <laughs> television. Oh, my God! Lois, I'm sorry to intrude, but after everything we've been through, I think I deserve at least five minutes of your time. Five minutes? I can manage that. Set it up through Brenda. What? What? Well, it's got to be about his music career, and you do keep the calendar. It's about us. There is no what. There's you, whoever you happen to be at any given moment in time, and then there is me. And the twain shall never meet. Need I be any clearer than that? I can't believe you'd do that to me. I can't believe you'd be so mean. Well, shows how little you know. Lois, Lois, you know, considering what we have riding on this guy, what harm would it do to hear him out? You guys work out your troubles so we can move on to something more productive. Sonny, forget about it. It's not about his music career. It's nobody else's business. Do you hear what I'm saying? I hear you. Loud and clear. So, anyway, I, I got a meeting this afternoon, so I got to go. Anything I should know about, honey? No, no, no. So you guys go ahead and fill Miguel in on, on the Puerto Rico gig, right? Yeah. Something I could really look forward to. I, uh, I got to make some phone calls to see you later. Uh, I'll use the phone in the kitchen. Hey. Oh, Sonny. What? Everything's What's... falling apart. What is? L and B. Not possible. I won't let it happen. Yes, sis. There's nothing we can do about it. I mean, you and I are just like pawns standing on the sidelines watching the whole thing unravel, and it's just completely beyond our control. Aren't you being a little melodramatic? No, I'm talking about Lois and Ned, and there's no such thing as being melodramatic. So they're fighting. I, my bet is they'll get over it. No, it's beyond that. Lois is never going to forgive Ned, and you know what? What? He doesn't even deserve to be forgiven. Why is that? Because when it comes to Lois, Ned Ashton is like the dumbest man on the face of the earth. I mean, if there's some decision to be made, you can bet that Ned's going to make the wrong one. You know, I just think he can't help himself. Brenda... Tell me what happened. It can't be that bad. Nothing's irreparable. So, you're telling me he pushed it into the woods and smashed in the windshield? <laughs> <laughs> Not funny! Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's, it's no way to trade a Ferrari. This is serious. He involved the paramedics in the hospital. I mean, the point is, he's trying to manipulate Lois again. Well that, well, that works both ways. I mean, don't you think Lois is doing her version of the same game? No. No? No. Sure she is. I mean, her, her lips are saying no, 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 but her eyes are saying yes, yes, yes. Well, oh, I can't believe you just said that. That is so totally sexist. Come on, Brenda. You know that's how those two operate. You know, if you have some warped idea... Come, come. Then Lois is actually enjoying this. This is not a game to her, Sonny. I mean, you've seen how furious she is. Yeah, which tells me she still cares. If she didn't get mad, then we'd have a problem. But passion, I can work with. You really think so? Sure, those two have feelings to burn. 
They're just going 100 miles an hour. We just got to get them towards each other instead of the opposite direction. Yeah, well, it's not exactly that simple. Whatever we do, we can't get caught at it. We don't want to turn Cirillo into the human volcano and be back to square one. Okay. So whatever we do, we have to do it right away, Sonny, because I cannot handle this guilt any longer. Lois already forgave you. Honey, you know that as long as Lois is in pain, I am not going to sleep at night. Oh, that's right. You uh, need your beauty rest. Don't make fun of me right now. Okay, look, look, look. I want to wrap this up as quickly as you do, but until those two get past these emotional distractions, I am seeing dollar signs zoom by. So what do you think we should do? Think, my darling. Use your imagination. Honey, I've been thinking, but everything I come up with just seems like more manipulation. Well, at least Miguel and Lily are behaving. Yeah, they're really beautiful together, aren't they? Their money in the bank. So work on that.